one of the things for regulators is to identify the types of stable tokens. So not all stable tokens are equal. There's different types of stable tokens with different associated risk with them. So some are reserved back, like USDC. Um, some are over collateralized, so MakerDAO or in EOS, the uh, USN. And some are algorithmic, where they would be generated through some sort of mechanism like UST. But yeah, it's it's really just identifying asset security risk and seeing if the network wants to adapt that and sponsor the liquidity and promotion of that particular asset. So Luna was very healthy. It was a very healthy network. It just happens that you know it ended up in a very terrible bloodbath, but it was very healthy for many years or many months as well. So it's really for Yield Plus, it will be to identify which assets are healthy for the network with a reasonable asset security risk. Um, like Tether is, let's say, uh, the most, the lowest risk asset that EOS can have. But there is other stable tokens that will be healthy. They're just going to have different risks and different sort of attack vectors. But I would say the over collateralized stable tokens are, let's say, the second tier of risk. So there's the reserved backed stable tokens. One dollar is in the bank account. You can redeem one one token for one dollar. And then you have the over collateralized stable tokens, which are still in a form a stable token, just have a little slightly different risk. So I think for the yield plus is to identify and figure out which stable tokens that the network wants to sponsor. And is it healthy for the network to support that liquidity for those tokens?